Howdy YouTubers, Patty Mac 1114 here, doing a Ruger American Rifle Compact range review. Uh, took it to the range today, and I love this rifle. That's, uh, that's how I'm going to start this off. Um, this is what I got. The compact course, so it's only 36 and 3 quarter inch overall length. I moved my Nikon Coyote Special 4x12x40 over to this rifle from my Remington 783 30-06. My reason for that was uh, this Coyote Special, the BDC reticle on it, and the subsequent system with Nikon spot on is more equated to the 223. As you can tell, the Coyote Special, the 223 is the, one of the primary coyote hunting rounds or calibers I should say 30 out 6 is uh, yeah you could kill a coyote with it but I mean that's just cruel really you're gonna yeah anyways so I put that on there and I went to sight it in today and I didn't really have any sighting in issues I didn't go first off I'm gonna put this back together uh, had the mag out just so y'all can all do the whole uh, it's not loaded all that stuff so that and I'll be bringing that back up in a minute because I have something to talk about with that uh, so I took her to the range today I was able to use one target for the whole thing uh, I know the, the holes are hard to see because of course it's two two three and they're interesting holes but they're in their small holes so I'll, I'll try and you know give you a good look at them and I'll explain the the series with which they all were in uh, the first five shots I shot, I just bore sighted it, uh, my good old, you know, style, just, you know, lay down, look through the barrel, look through the scope, and get it on paper. Got it on paper, first, first shot, first five shots downrange, hit these. I printed these out because I continued shooting at the same target after I was done sighting it in, and I'll explain that as well. So, these are the first five shots. Uh, it's hard to tell on here, but I'll show you on the big target. They are up and to the right. And so, uh, yeah, I, I still wasn't quite comfortable with my setup I had, so I kind of redid it. And I went to a different target. And I went to this bottom left corner. And I didn't print this out, so I'm just going to have to bring the big one up to you. I went to the bo I'm sorry, bottom right corner with it and sighting it in. Um, and I was pretty low these two so I brought it back up and I was uh, I was this far to the right and so I brought it closer and I ended up with these uh, and then um, so I, I figured out that was good and I, I just wanted to I don't know really why but I wanted to switch which one of my targets I went to again uh, so again I switched targets and these are the first three rounds on the bottom left target of the, the sighting. So that is obviously not on this paper, but on the actual target, you can see that the correlating dots there and there. You can you can find them on the on the big one and the printed paper. And they are obviously within almost a half inch. I haven't gotten the exact measurements yet, but I mean, it, yeah, that looks within a half inch, and that's three shot, having just sighted in. Um, and so, but, you know, I, two of those seemed kind of low. You know, the two seemed still kind of low, and this one was still a, a little low, so I just went, uh, I think I went one or two clicks up with my, with my uh, reticle. And then I popped off these three, and as you can see, it's one, this one, like the top one on that one, two, and three. After that, I decided I was done, because I had just gotten a three group within essentially a half inch, and I had just shot three that were on the same plane, but I, they were each an inch apart, essentially. And what that told me was, and I double checked it with my weather app on my phone, was, hey, I'm having 10 to 12 
mile per hour wind with gusts of up to 15, 16 mile per hour wind at the range. And like most rangers, ranges, it has, you know, a hill, hill of dirt, grass, hill of dirt, grass, and here's your range. So you got all that wind coming in and doing willy wonkies with your bullet. So I figured I'm sighted in for how I want to be. I'm sighted in enough for this review and to say I, I like this gun and its accuracy. Uh, the next thing I did was, and the reason I printed off this one with these five shots is because, I'm sorry, six shots, is because I then did something I've never done before. I went and I stood to the side and I shot offhand. Now, I didn't stand up and shoot like this. I was not positioned like this. I was down on essentially sitting on my right foot and I had my elbow on my on my knee and I was trying to steady like that. I'll tell you this, I need a lot of work on that. I was all over the place and you'll agree with me when I show you what I'm talking about. I circled using, because again I took these pictures of the target while it was still tacked to its post but before I was done because I wanted to keep track of each step for y'all and for myself. I have, using that picture, I circled with a pen, you can see four and then five up here, each shot that I shot offhand. Now, the reason I say that, first off, I love this gun because, I mean, that's, what is that, three inches? Three by one inch, and you got four shots offhand in there, and then you got this one, which was, and here's the funny part, closest to its target than all the others because I was aiming at this bad boy, the one that is untouched. Yeah, that's my offhand work for you. So, yeah, yeah I can use the wind or I can just say plainly I need to work on my offhand, offhand shooting. Um, thank God I didn't try and use offhand shooting to sight my damn rifle in. Um, so overall, I love this. I love my gun. I'm so happy with it. I give it Alright, I give the rifle 10 out of 10. Love it, feels great. I can't wait to get it out in the range more and practice my offhand shooting. Accessories, I give a 6 out of 10. Actually, accessories I would fail. This is a faulty magazine. If I put 5 in here, 2 to 3 of them will almost every time jam in my chamber. What happens is the spring in here, because this is Ruger's rotary magazine, which of course not just doom doom doom, I'm assuming just kind of clicks into a circle. It, something in here is not right. I think the spring is a little loose because what's happening is you know the bolt, it's just a push feed bolt. So the bolt just catches the back of the round and pushes it into the chamber. Of course it has to elevate into the chamber. Well, at a point in this when the bullet goes from parallel to angled, when it goes angled, that bolt loses the catch on the back of the round because the round dips. Instead of being lifted, the back is dipping instead of the front being lifted. So what's happening is the bolt is coming and then the bolt, the bullet round is dropping down and then the, the bolt just jams into the side of the round. Um, so of course, I knew this before I went to the range actually because I bought some snap caps and I tried practice feeding it and I learned the, that travesty a couple days before I went um, so I was just doing one bullet at a time no bolt put a round in feed it in one shot at a time yeah it didn't bug me uh, for for sighting it in now it would bug me to actually practice my offhand shooting and, and all my things like that so um, on this subject I called Ruger customer service and I told them I'm having trouble with my rotary magazine for my brand new 223 and they asked for my serial number and an address and before I knew it the girl on the phone just stated alright you got two of them coming your way and I said two and she said yes we're, since this has been, been a problem for us you get one to replace your faulty magazine and you get an extra one for the, for the inconvenience that's fantastic because I wasn't expecting that. 
I was expecting a, they send me a shipping label, which will take a week. I ship them this back, which will take a week. They test it, which will take a week. They ship a new one back to me, which will take two months. Add it on to those other weeks. So, props to you, Ruger. I've never dealt with Ruger before, so I didn't know what to expect. I just kind of, you know, expect the worst, hope for the best kind of thing. And I, I got the damn best. They said four to five business days, so by next Friday, I'm hoping to uh, have two new magazines. While I was on the phone with Ruger, I don't know if all y'all know this, uh, Ruger was giving out the cheek pieces that you put on the back of your buttstock, you know, good, it was a good pouch, you could extra, carry extra rounds, maybe some small tools, whatever, you know, you're uh, in your, as you use that as a miniature gun bag. Um, but on the phone, as I, was contact, as I was in contact with him, I asked him about it, and she said, they've actually been discontinued. Now, when I bought my gun last Thursday, it had in there uh, the, the little flyer saying, hey, go online, get your free cheat pet. So I was asking her to make sure that it had gone through and she said it's actually been discontinued. Now it caught me by surprise, but I completely understand. They send these guns out months before they might end up on the shelf. I mean, I picked up the last gun in my gun shop, so maybe not months, but you know, weeks. And so they're not going to make the gun the the gun stores send the guns back just so they can take a piece of paper out of it now i think what they could do is and maybe maybe ruger did it and i just wasn't signed up for it uh, a newsletter you know that says hey we're discontinuing these uh even if you get a new gun with us and you get and you get the flyer it's essentially a worthless piece of paper um or you could have contacted the gun store themselves and again, I know it's a newsletter thing, um, and said, hey, make sure your customer knows that the cheek rest piece of paper is worthless. Um, but I'm not upset by that. I, I mean, I was a little looking forward to it, but not enough for me to be like, oh man, I'm so distraught, I'm so upset, I wish somebody had told me. No, it, it's fine. I'm, I'm glad she gave me the answer she did, and she was straight up about it. So real good customer service, 10 out of 10, and she also guaranteed that the two coming my way had already been tested and were good to go. So when those come in, I will definitely have some fun with uh, my offhand shooting and being able to just pop one, bolt it, pop one, bolt it. Um, I'm actually not done with this rifle. I found, and I can't remember the place. God, I wish I could remember the name of the place. I found a company that sells tactical bolt knobs for this gun. I wasn't expecting that. You know, most 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 companies don't bother making um, accessories for budget rifles. Uh, of course, Boyd has one for, has a stock for the Remington 783 and things like that, but you know, things like this I wasn't expecting. So I'm actually eventually going to be removing this and replacing it with a two inch tactical uh, just because I can. And uh, I'll do a video when I've been, I'm able to do that and that comes in. Uh, so, just as a quick overview, this was my range review for my Ruger American Compact rifle chambered in 223, uh, 18 inch barrel, 12 and a half inch length of pull, overall length of 36 and 3 quarter inch with my Nikon Coyote Special 4x12x40 uh, and I achieved sub MOA day one. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 14 bullets in. After 11 bullets, the next three were sub MOA. I mean, almost half an inch. So that really attests to the accuracy of this gun and uh, and Ruger's capability to build it. So I'll be having a lot more fun with this gun in the future. Until then, be safe, have a good day, leave your love, leave your hate, subscribe, 
I'm too lazy to figure out how to put the little subscribe button up here in the corner, so I'll just like hit subscribe, it's down there somewhere. And uh, tell me what you think. If you've had experience with this gun, I'd love to hear about it.